you know, we talk about a lot of people spend their lives sort of searching for that magic key of success. Yeah. How does Napoleon Hill unlock that mystery? Well, there's no magic key per se. There's no, like the Lone Ranger had the silver bullet, which pretty cool business card when you think about it, right? Yeah. Um, Napoleon Hill's magic key is the word concentration. And he challenges people that the more you focus in and the more you concentrate on what you're trying to do, that is the magic key that will lead you to more success, greater success, faster success, more financial success. And he wrote a whole book on it. Yeah. And, and, the magic key. and he also talked a lot about if it doesn't come quickly, sort of the how Napoleon Hill described the best lens to look through adversity or failure when one faces it at any stage in life. Yeah. If you're... If your attitude won't get you through the situation, you need to take a job at McDonald's uh, or some kind of, and I don't mean to be demeaning about that because a lot of kids, that's how they start their career with a job at McDonald's or Chick-fil-A or whatever. But look wherever. at that as an opportunity, not a sort of exactly. settling. Like even whatever exactly. job you're doing. Your closing line at McDonald's is, do you want fries with that? So you're starting you're to learn how to upsell mm -hmm. and you go on from there. But if you don't have the character or the charisma or the self-confidence to be able to get to next level, to next level, to next level. You have to figure out where you can be best and stay there. You can still be the best middle manager on the planet. You can still be the best salesperson on the planet, the best car sales guy, the best refrigerator sales guy. There's lots of things you can do and be best at. Teachers don't make a lot of money, but I'll tell you, the teachers that my child has right now, I, I want to give them a raise because they're so wonderful and they're so dedicated. So just think about who you are as from fulfillment standpoint and think about who you are as a, a person who goes home at night and feels great about what you do it doesn't always revolve around money he'll makes it about money but he, you you know you know well it doesn't revolve around money i you know i'm, I'm fortunate to love what i do